Hello and welcome back to Hoff Bergman. Right, so I've just set this guy going to cultivate this field off. And I'm also just quickly going to set a course play to plant some wheat in this field. So the plan is we're going to plant wheat in all three of these fields for when we want to try and make a, yeah, a good chunk of money from some dried wheat. That's the plan anyway. We're going to use our own biogas that we're going to generate. Hopefully it'll be some good income. Right, so let's just quickly set this one up. So we'll go with two headland passes. Because it isn't a bad size, 12 metres is alright. Uh, we'll probably start working on the up and down rows again. And then we'll just up that to a 12% and that should be perfect. So we just need to manoeuvre it to the first waypoint. And we can set it going. And that's pretty much all the course play and all the field work that I'm going to set going in this episode. Unless they finish. And then we can always start planting in another one. Uh, but I thought I'd get this going early and then we can focus on what the main aim for this episode is, which is the calves, which have all, all at once as well, all at once have got ready. They've all grown up, so they all need to be moved over to the right place, so we are going to be doing that today. Uh, but let's just quickly get that set these going and then we can yeah keep a track on it all. So that's cultivating, that's planting. Happy days. Right, so I have been busy as well behind the scenes. I've been cleaning off all the equipment, parking things away, doing a bit of bagging as well, um, just trying to tidy up because I was leaving little bits everywhere from all the stuff we were doing in the episode. So there is a few things yeah, that look a lot better, kind of the farm's a bit neater, but there's still quite a bit to do. I've been doing some big bags as well of chicken food. So I did wheat and put them in there. Uh, I've also been doing some sacks, which is actually something that we can probably quickly just do now. We need some sacks of um, uh, wood shavings. I forgot the name then. Yeah, wood shavings. Just because the chickens, I do want them to keep producing eggs. Uh, because I think it's important that I can fill that area up from the last time. The refrigeration storage area. I do want to fill that up just for the look of it. I think it'd be cool. I'm hoping I can back in because I've got four crates of chicks there waiting to be transported. They were just sorted out. So if I unload here, then that won't work. So what we need to do first is open that up, throw a few of these, maybe just over there at the moment. This will do. We do want to store them up there, so might be a good idea to just throw maybe four of these down here to use and then we can throw the rest of them up there we go I do get quite a bit of frame rate drop at the moment with this map I think it's just because so much is going on oh bad throw let's try that again there we go. That's more like it. There is a fair whack of these. I mean, it's the, because they only hold 200, it does take quite a while and you do a lot of them. Uh, the compost is as well. That's nearly ready. I think it was at 91% the last time I looked. Um, and you could do them in sacks like this and then take them to the actual garden centre, which you do get more money for. But it's not probably enough extra income to justify putting all that time and effort into sack it sack it up basically put it into sacks uh, so what I am going to do as soon as that's ready is I'm going to probably sell about half of it it's loose there is actually a bulk sell point which is going to be perfect for that and it should be good money uh, but the other half what I'm going to do is save it for when we go and buy the kind of vegetable patch area what's this duck doing here what are you doing yeah when we get the veg vegetable patch area we can use it instead of manure, so it'll come in handy then. Um, in the next episode as well, I just want to quickly mention that I will be running the most latest version of Hoth Bergman. Currently I'm still on 1.08, let's say, whereas there's been an update, a few little things added, so next episode that'll definitely be the version that I'm running, and we'll go through probably the, the new baler. Um, a few of the storage points as well have changed so it can actually um, 
accommodate, let's say, the uh, mini bales that you can now do. So we'll definitely have a look at that in the next episode. But let's just quickly finish this off. I have got quite a few sacks here, but it does take quite a lot with it being 200 litres. These sacks will quickly go down. Um, but that's a few things that I do need to do. Definitely need to sort out the animals because there's a few jobs, like the cleaning and the mucking out, that we need to do. So let's just quickly pick up this manure. I have sorted the food out in the water, so we don't need to do that. But the main aim of this episode is the animals, so let's get all of them sorted out. We'll start with the chickens and move on from there. We've got the, the course plays going, which is good. There we go. Um, let me just get this all sorted. Put this in here. We will have to go and transport these down to the animal dealership. Uh, probably not going to put any more eggs into the incubator. Just going to store the eggs away. We might sell them in bulk if we want to near the end. But right now, I think it's a good idea just to store them away. Right, so. Four boxes of chicks. And luckily... They're going to get reared. Happily. No issues at all. Take them to the animal dealership. They'll get reared into chickens and then probably sold off. For uh, probably making eggs. Let's hope, anyway. I hope that's going to be alright. Yeah, that'll be fine. So let's go drop the eggs off. And then we'll go and take the chicks. And then we'll probably move on to the pigs. Just have a look at them. I do want to take over as well. Some of the suckling pigs, because I have got quite a lot of them. And weirdly, they're all like different sizes. It's not like one's got to 70% or 100%, for example. I just keep spawning out little tiny 5% piglets, so I'm, I'm going to have to just take them. And hope that I sort that problem out, because it does look like a bit of an error to me. There we go. We are building up the shelves, slowly. But they are getting there. So let's just go take these to the animal dealership. And then we'll come back. We'll probably have a look at the goats on the way back. And then we'll go and look at the pigs in the farrow pen as well. And the actual proper pigs as well, just to see where we're at. And as soon as we've done that, we can actually move over to the... the probably the main focus, which is the, which is the cows. There we go. Not much, but enough. Definitely got enough for them. Uh, but that's probably going to be the last time that we do anything with the chicks. I think we've uh, done enough to realise it's not profitable enough. It is quite a bit of an effort, so we may as well just keep the eggs. And, you know, you can then just sell them. I would just naturally sell them as eggs in-game. Let them build up, because the mayonnaise as well, that's just not profitable enough as well for me. It's a good idea. But it's just a lot of work for what you get in the end. Right, so let's go check the goats out next. Right, so it looks like they've got enough hay, I think. Let's just have a quick look. So they definitely need water and some straw and then some silage. Now I did drop some silage bales outside. Sure I did, yep. So, let's just do the water. We've probably got a bit of milk in there as well that we can transport at some point. But we're alright just yet. Probably wait till we got quite a bit. And then we'll go from there. So I'm going to turn on the 
super strength because I haven't got anything down here to, to sort this out. I think I could actually use... Maybe not. I don't know why I've got that because it doesn't look like I'm actually mucking them out at all. So that is a bit strange. There we go. Let's throw another one in there. I think that should be good then. Then we just need to bring probably a couple of salvage bales. I don't know why I keep always thinking they're on that side. There we go. It's nearly consumed that whole bale, so we definitely bring another one in. There we go. So let's just have a quick look now. Yep, all good. And we've got 4,389 litres of goat's milk. So I probably wait till about 5,000 and we'll go and bring it over and do some goat's cheese. But obviously that's going to be probably in another episode. Right, so let's get back. Go check out the pigs. I'm probably going to need the tractor for this one because I'm going to transfer them up to the butchers, which he'll probably have some meat packs for me as well, so we can bring them back in the van. I'll just park this over here. There we go. Let's just quickly muck out the pigs. I know they've got enough um, pig food and straw. I did check that earlier on. So I think they just pretty much need cleaning out uh, probably going to have a look as well how many we've got because at some point we're going to take them to the uh, abattoir. We're not going to do the butchers anymore. I'm hoping to get enough meat packs from these to know to just take them straight to the abattoir. I think it makes financial sense for us because we have to put a lot less effort in and uh, the farm shop should be alright. Don't need to keep putting meat in there. Right, so let's just have a quick look at the pigs. Pigs are fine. Cows pretty much just need a tiny bit of TMR, but that's good to know. Uh, chickens desperately need wood shavings, but we've put some down, so that'll keep them going for a day. Um, it's a shame I can't get a bucket in there. I might have to keep buying the actual 1,000 litre kind of mini bale things that you can get from the shop. I think it might make more sense. Oh, it looks like the young bulls need some straw and TMR. Same with them. But the breeding bull should be fine. So, next thing, we're going to have to get a tractor. So we can attach this little deck to it. So we can start taking some of these suckling pigs. Now, there is a lot. Last time I looked in here, there was quite a few. So there's four there that are ready to go. But there is a few small ones that aren't really doing anything. So I might just take them. See if I can reset the problem. And why is this pig standing on its piglets? That's some strong piglet. Anyway, let's go and get a tractor. Oh, he's struggling getting up that hill. He's nearly done the field, though. I'll take this. This will this will make easy work of it. I still got all them potatoes as well. I've got a load of sunflowers, a load of oats, quite a lot. I really have. I think I've got some barley as well. So we've definitely got enough crop. And pretty much in this now, I'm already quite set with the amount of money that I've got. I think it's more about now just trying out all the features and um, yeah, seeing what is the most profitable as well. Right. Ooh. Right, sorry mate, but it's time to turn into a suckling pig. I think we should open that and make it a little bit easier. We will go and sort the guy out who's done the auto drive. I don't know what this pig's doing. I haven't got a clue. Right, so I've got a lot of piglets in the back, all different shapes and sizes. Let's go see what the butcher makes of this, because I'll be honest... I'm not entirely sure if this is going to work. I think the 100% ones we won't have an issue with, but I don't know how the rest are going to pretty much react to it. But we will find out. 
I also sort out the guy that's finished the uh, course place so we don't have that message popping up. So let's just quickly do that. Missed a bit. Oh well. Still plenty done. We've still got plenty of seeds left as well, so... It might make sense to actually set up field three. I think that would make sense. Let's change it to three. Start on the up and downs. There we go. So what I'll do is I'll take this over there now, get it going. And then I'll cut back in when I'm at the uh, butchers with all the uh, suckling pigs. I don't know if it's a very good idea to drive into here, but I'm doing it anyway. Butcher is probably thinking, what are you doing? Get out of my butchery, if that's what they call them. I'm busy. Right, well that's one. I don't know which one the 70% one is, but that's 100%. There's another one. It's another 100% one. I mean, I imagine that if I take the small ones, it might work. Yeah, it does. But I guess it's more about the fact that I won't get 100 litres on that suckling pig. But at least it sorts out the issue that I'm having with, with them yeah, not growing. Uh, because I have, I have give it quite a few days, I keep checking and they weren't doing pretty much anything so as you can see there is it is pretty much in litres so it's still saying, yeah it's 458 now, de delivered piglets, 25% full but that's because it is going off the weight of the pig as well which is good because it means that I'm not over obviously getting more than I should do um, but it's the one thing that I actually think is worth the money and effort the piglets turn them into uh, sucking pigs because you do get quite a good price from them especially if you take them to a house but we're going to store them off in the actual um, refrigeration storage area because yeah I'm kind of keen just to fill it up and see what it looks like I'll be honest it's kind of a little thing that I've set myself now um, so let's just set this back on an auto drive and then what we can do is bring these meat packs back as well while they're here it just makes more sense so let's go to p1 that should be fine and then we'll sort out the butcher's van and we'll steal it again you won't mind i'm sure of it and i'll use my favorite technique of loading the van which is just winging them in job done and then he can carry on processing because I, I bet you any money he's still got <laughs> yeah he's still got a lot left them pigs that we brought here he's going to be busy for months with them pigs must give off a lot of meat but weirdly there's 10 litres in that box but I still think that's a lot more and I've probably said it for the last three episodes but I still think that he needs to adjust that I think Farmer Andy definitely needs to turn that up to probably about 250 litres a box to be honest because yeah it's just way too many meat boxes for the amount of pigs that I took it I mean can you imagine how many we're going to get if we take a cow it's going to be insane right so what I'll do is I'll fill these up get back store them away in the uh, refrigeration area and then we'll get moving over to the calves and hopefully we'll have some more as well to uh turn into milkers and it should increase the amount we've got for milk anyway which is always important because milk is definitely good money on this game right so there we go we've got quite a lot of meat packs in here now these meat boxes they are stacking up nicely but we're not quite full yet definitely got a lot more things to throw in here a lot of cheese to make it seems as well now let's just have a look see how many can hold 36 of that 28 suckling pigs 24 goat cheeses, 72 meat boxes, which is a hell of a lot, and 32 cans of milk. Uh, we should probably do some milk at some point. I mean, that's pretty straightforward. 
Right, so there we go. So that's that done. Right, so let's go and get the small tractor now and go up to the the cows and we'll make a start on that. We need to clean them out. Probably give them a tiny bit of feed. And then the next job is going to be moving over the young bulls and the milkers into their rightful areas and then I think we're pretty much on the rise then. It should be yeah, it should be good. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this out. I'm not going to feed them yet because I imagine that it's going to go up when I obviously transfer over the six that as you can see are all ready to go. Um, so we won't do that just yet. So let's just swing it around ready. And let's just go have a quick look. So as you can see I've got six milkers here all fully grown ready to go into this small herd we've got. And then as you can see with the big horns, I've got six young bulls, black and white. They're obviously going to go over to the young bull pen uh, and eventually will get sold for meat or probably straight to the abattoir. But they are technically meat herd, uh, whereas the others are going to go for milkers. Now, I have got three sitting here, but I always want to keep one because uh, I've had advice that there is a, a bit of a glitch going on. That if you do use the last one, then they just keep spawning out like crazy, so... I don't want it to be overkill because I think I've got quite a lot for how many cows that are actually in calf. So I think it might have already hit a bit over the top, let's say. So let's go move the, th the first six over to there and then we'll take the other six after. Right, so what we'll do is we'll go round through the other entrance. And what we need to do is obviously get in front of the pens and then basically just trigger them into these, this uh, animal trailer. And that's pretty much all we need to do. We don't need to open everything, we don't need to walk them anymore. We just need to bring them over. There we go, and the last one. There we go. There we go, so we've got 16 now. Obviously them six that we just put in will need inseminating again. Um, and then we'll be obviously generating even more. Uh, but right now, we don't need to worry about that. First thing I will do is I'll just put the six young bulls into here, ready to transport over to the other area. And then we'll make sure that we um, sort out the, the feed for these milkers. Ah, so I can only take four young bulls in this. That's uh, that is a shame. So we might have to do another trip. But let's just quickly sort this out first. Get this manure out of the way, and I'll feed them. And then what I'll do is I'll cut back in when I'm probably moving the calves over and feeding them some milk. And then we'll obviously move over to sorting out the young bulls as well. Right, so I'm having some issues again with the trigger. So maybe it is just a thing that happens every now and again where the trigger really doesn't want to work with this thing. I shouldn't have anything that's conflicting with it. And last time all I did was pretty much just come out of the game and come back in again and got rid of... Well, I actually put a breeding bull in the pen and I thought that was it, but it obviously isn't. It's obviously just some... Some crazy thing that's going on. Or I might have to just keep loading in and out because yeah, it's not really working. So we'll leave that. So we'll fill them two up as well because we'll need that. I'm probably going to need two, one more after this one. No, that's it. All done. So at least they've got that. We just need to give them some milk. Let me just see if the milk wor works now that I put the straw in. Maybe it is. You need to put straw in first. I don't know. I'm completely guessing. Nope. Still doesn't work. Don't matter. Right. So anyway, let's move on to the next thing. So what I want to do now is 
obviously take these young bulls down and then come back for these two. And what I might quickly just do is sort out that course play that's finished. If I can find where it is, there we go. Right, so that's that done. Let's just manoeuvre it around, turn it around. That should be fine. Um, we'll have a look at the compost as well when we sorted out the cows. Might have a little bit of time left. Now, uh, quickly, let's just go and check the BJ because I was flying through there. And I'll just give you a quick update on that. Right, so it's obviously still processing. You can see that it's taking now more from the pit and it's taking it all the way over to the digester. It's currently at. Weirdly, it's only got to 2400, so I'm not entirely sure about that. Maybe it's got something to do with. Ah, I don't know, because it's actually picking it up pretty well. Hmm. I think it needs to go a little bit more forward on that one. Probably. There we go, that seems to be working a little bit better now. Yeah, I think that should do. Um, I don't know if it's just because this isn't picking up as precisely as it was before. Um, but it seems to be alright. And it's going up anyway, so it did empty. As you can see, we've got 28,000 litres of, or probably, uh, I think it's, let's actually have a look what it's, and it's something cubed, I think. Uh, and the way to tell that is by going to tankers and this one. So as you can see, it's metres cubed, 49,000 metres cubed that hole. So I imagine that this is it, 28,884 meters cubed of biogas in the tank uh, but as you can see as well it's only 14 percent full so we're not going to sell that yet what we're going to do is try and fill it up as much as possible each in 50,000 um, liters of silphy silage and um, filling up into this and then each time we should get 28,000 liters which will be 14 percent so it is going to take quite a while but we can keep just chipping away at it we've got plenty of time anyway because we need to do all the grain and then obviously bring it into dry so before we probably need to get some gas canisters uh, so we will wait until we do need it pretty much um, right so is he actually just fit, done the whole field already that is pretty good going can't complain at that right so it looks like we're, we're probably going to get a chance to plant all three of these fields in this episode which is great news so he's still got plenty seeds left as well so let's set up field two probably do the same maybe two headland passes but start on the up and down rows and that'll be fine and let's get down to the bottom where he needs to start from right that'll do let's set him going jump out and let him crack on or let her crack on is it a lady i think it is um let's just have a look at the, the map for checking if how how well he's done i hope he's not missed too many bits Missed a few on the corners. Uh, that's not as bad. There's a few down here, but that should be fine. Uh, but at least we'll have three fields of wheat ready to obviously harvest soon, which will be good. Should be good money as well, especially if we dry it all. Right, so obviously what we need to do now is pretty much... We can probably feed these first. Did say I was going to do that. Because I imagine, now that we've got so many calves in, you can see that 10 are still carving, 6 aren't. Uh, but they do need quite a bit of... Uh, they do need quite a bit of food now. It's probably gone up, so... We should get some more milk as well. These will still offer milk, but they won't obviously reproduce. And I don't think we... You know, there's not, not so much of a need to get them in carving. I don't think it's as important as we probably think it is, because we're not playing on seasons. Anyway, let's carry on with this. Just move these over. I am intrigued to see if that them. I think it was three breeding bulls are there. If they are, that's great news. We can put them in the pen. Um, but we might be able to go and sell them maybe in the next episode and just see how much money we get for them. Because I do 
expect to get a good price for the breeding bulls. Yeah, we've got three breeding bulls. That's awesome. Um, where are the black ones? That's where we want to take them. Not the brown ones. We're going to put them in, in with the, uh, the black ones. Well, there's the brown. So we need to go to the black ones. Now, I do know the trigger isn't actually in here. I imagine the trigger could be there. Let's just try that out. Yes, it is. There we go. So they're in there. Now, they're obviously going to breed, but we could have taken them straight to the abattoir because they're not going to get any bigger. But I think the best way to obviously get more cows to sell at the abattoir is to have more in there so the reproduction rate goes up. There we go. There are the three breeding bulls. Now we'll be able to get an idea of the price. They were two and a half thousand for a, a young bull. But if we just quickly move over here and hopefully activate this trigger, we should get an idea of how much they are. So the five thousand. So that's fifteen thousand straight away. And we'd sell. We'd obviously take them to the animal dealership. We wouldn't sell them for meat. We wouldn't take them to the abattoir. Just take them straight to the animal dealership because I think that's where you're probably going to get the best price. And a breeding bull, let's be honest, it's not for meat. It isn't at all for meat, so it's it's going to be an animal that's obviously going to have its purpose. Uh, let's take this back to what we want is the animals. We want cow, oop, cow milk. That should be the right place to put it. Oh, I don't know what he's doing. He's obviously having a little bit of a Benny there. Yeah. He's somehow figured it out anyway. There we go. <laughs> he got there in the end. Right, so let's skip over to this one. And then what we'll do is we'll start going going around and feeding the actual... Yeah, feeding the uh, cows, getting them all sorted. Right, so we've got 16,000 litres in here. Now, they do need some feed. They're, they are quite short, so we just quickly... Maneuver over here. We should get a trigger at some point. There we go. So that's them sorted. 15 in there. 15 plus, plus the extra 4. They need that. They're pretty much full up. Which is good. So we pretty much just need to give straw after we've gone into these other two pens. Now, it's not actually showing me the, the trigger. Now, I don't know if that's something that I've done. Maybe. It's normally it come up with the feed trigger, and that get, makes me think that actually the trigger for the, the calf milk might be working. It's just not showing me the, the pop-up that's indicating that it is working. So, before I end the video, I will go back and check that out. Right, so the last bit, we just need to give them some straw and the animals are all sorted. And then what I am going to do before I end the video, I've decided, is I'm going to check the compost. Um, go and check, that, see if that calf milk trigger will work as well, because I'm intrigued about that. And then I think that'll be enough. Because I'm not getting any, any triggers. Any triggers at all here. No pop-ups. And as you saw then, that was uh, there was no capacity for that, but... I still imagine it should pop up, but we'll find out in a second. If it pops up for this one, then maybe it isn't that, and maybe it'll just work when I load back into the game, like it did last time. Yeah, so we've got a trigger for this straw. God, they need some straw, don't they? They really did need some straw. They seem to be fine now, so let's go and sort the other one out. They don't need any salads. They've got salad in theirs, but if they've got TMR, they really don't need that at all. They won't consume it anyway, so there's no point in me going to get a salad bale for the 
for these young bulls in here. Alright, so there we go. Job done. I uh, probably should put a breeding bull in there, but I'll sort that out in the next episode. Let's get back to the farm and we'll go and check out the trigger. This guy's waiting as well, so we let's move this. I mean, it probably won't work, but I'm going to keep trying until I figure out what the issue is. I think what's blocking his route in is this. Or oh, that might be where he finishes off. Well, it mustn't be because he's still in the cab, so ignore that. Right, so it's not actually doing anything, so I don't think the trigger is working, unfortunately. So what we'll do is we'll just move it out of the way, and I assume when I start the next episode and I've loaded back in, it'll probably work perfectly. So let's... Sort this out. So we have got a few more here to sort out. Two more, in fact. And it's job done. I mean, it, it did all come at once. Now, I don't know if it normally does that. I've I've seen some comments when I was searching about it of people that it's only like two days or some people three days. Uh, and then I did read something else which was pretty interesting, which is for each new playthrough, I think it randomises the... Uh, amount of time that it takes so each time in each save game you do I can start a new save game now and it might be different it might be a lot quicker uh, than what I'm currently having so that is that is yeah that's interesting to know anyway what I'll do is I'll finish this off now quickly take these over make sure they've got enough feed which they definitely should have because I'm only added two more to the pen and then we'll go and check the compost out Right, so here we go. The compost is now fully done. It's now converted into compost. So let's take the, the wooden boards down and go to the side. Open up the blanket. You can see this a completely different texture, quite dark and soil looking, pretty much as it should do when it's compost. Um, now I, I'm hoping that this screw feed will work. I haven't tried it yet, so I imagine it should, which it does, which is great news. Now I think that's the furthest I can go out, so what we need to do is manoeuvre the, the tractor in the trailer so we can pretty much just fill this up. Now I imagine as well that this also holds the compost. I'd be surprised if it didn't. There we go. So this is a good sized trailer as well, this is going to fit quite a bit in. So what I'll do, because it does take a while to fill through the screw feed on this auger, we'll let it crack on. Um, and then I will cut back as well when it's all done. But quickly, just before I do that, let's just have a look at the total volume. So we do have like 160,000 litres. So we've pretty much got probably three full trailers, maybe four, um, four, four trailers, maybe three and a half, something like that. Uh, so we'll just fill up the one and then we'll go sell it and see how much money we get. Right, so there we go. We've got 42,850 litres in here. Um, just to let you know as well, completely finished off these three fields while this was loading. So that's all got wheat in and it's all obviously growing nicely. We just need to uh, spray some fertilizer, but I do have a plan for that and I think it will be a good idea. Uh, but we will definitely tackle that in the next episode. Also as well, the BJ filled up with 50,000 litres. So I've set that going. So that's now processing that pretty nicely. Um, so we should have probably another 14% capacity in the actual biogas tank. Um, in the next episode as well so what we need to do now is we're going to go take this compost and as you can see this is pretty much the price for, for compost it's not too bad it's actually pretty good at the garden center but like I said you do need to have like some sacks for that and it's just too much work uh, you can put it into big bags which isn't as bad but then if you're doing that you do need to load it up in that crane um, which I did show you briefly in one of the episodes I think um, if not I will show you as we get there uh, but what you can do is sell it in bulk, which is where we're going. Yes, you get less money. So what I'm going to do is show you the options that you've got on that sell point. Uh, the garden centre, like I said, it's pretty self-explanatory. And you need to put it in the sacks, really. 
unless you can put it in big bags maybe and then do what I did which was use super strength uh, but it depends how you want to play the game if you want to play it realistically then you're obviously just going to put it in sacks and let's be honest even at that price it's still very dear compost it must be premium compost uh, but still it's not enough for the effort that you do put in tiny little clover field there as well tiny tiny clover field it's always been on on the map as far as I know uh, so if you do want to do a bit of clover you can there's a patch of it there and also you can plant it as well speaking about the actual crop types as well that makes me think about the fact that there's just been an update to the realistic cedar mod so go check that out because uh, I think it does add some new seed seed uh, pallets that you might be interested in um, I have updated it so I have got the latest version now right so what we want to do is go in this entrance here now I, do, I, do, I would like to pronounce this probably one day but I don't even want to try I'll be honest but it's it's that place this is where I'm going and it's called that and there we go right so there's two cell points here you also get given this uh, little tally handler if you want to use that that front loader sorry um, now big bags go up there what you'll do is just load them in here a bit like what you've got on the farm you send it up it'll go up automatically sell and you just keep filling it up so that's for the big bags at the same location as well um, there is quite a few little areas here. You can obviously buy lime, loose lime, loose seeds, loose fertilizer. Um, but there is just around this corner, there's a cell point in there as well that you can take. But what we want is that second little bay. Manure you can sell there as well. But we're going to sell in that one the compost. So when we get over there, we're just going to tip with the trigger. And what you'll notice is the money will start going up. And we'll get a good idea of how profitable it is. Now, from what I can tell, it's pretty good. It really is. 42,000 litres in here. And it's not too bad. Definitely. £20,000 at least, anyway. There you go. 29,250. So it is pretty good, that is. 29,000. We've technically gone off straw. We just put some straw in there. It decomposed. It was biomass when, we en when, when it entered the pit. And then it obviously decomposed into compost. Now, previously you could put um, basically animal, animal carcasses in there um, and they de decompose too instead of taking them to the actual skinner who basically charges you. So it, was, it just made sense to do that, but that's no longer an option now. Since the update, it seems like that's, that's changed. Uh, but what you can do is you can still add a hell of a lot of options. There is about 20 odd. Yeah, you can put as much things as you want. You can put hay in there, straw in there, even potatoes in there, um, spent grain. There's loads of types that you can put in there. So if you do want to try and get rid of something and turn it into a bit of profit, just stick it in the compost pit and let it obviously degrade and decompose. And over time, what you'll find is you can go and sell it and make quite a bit of money. I mean, 30000 for that is pretty good. But on that note, I am going to leave the video there. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. I appreciate that every time. And also, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos just like this one on Farming Simulator.